Look at our forecast over that. We're going to go now to our midday weather school at Diamond Ridge Elementary. Hi, Devin. Hi, Emily. You got it right. Diamond Ridge Elementary. Are we technically West Valley here? Is that what I saw on the address before we came? Well, we have been out here before, but it's the return that we've been able to make to our fourth grade classes at Diamond Ridge. So you're on TV right now. Wave hi to your parents. Hi. Everybody they're watching and grandparents and aunts and uncles. So you've been a great class, very attentive so far, and you've been really, really good listeners. And I want to see how good of listeners you really are because we're going to talk a little weather. We're going to ask a few questions because I know you were listening really close, right? Right? Yeah. Right. Of course, Mr. Pokemon shirt here. Okay. So we knew that there was a university here that studies the weather because we have a few unique things that we like to study, some of which might be coming up or are going on right now. Does anybody know right around me here what university studies our weather and is a really good weather little resource for us? What's your name? Adam. Adam, what university here is the one who has a really good study program for weather? Utah. University of Utah. We're right, Adam, with that. Now, the reason why we have such unique weather, of which our unique weather is most important when we get this... And it's these two features that combine to give us really spectacular this. So it's a multiple part question. Who knows the this, the things that we get from those two features that would give us such spectacular and great stuff? What's the this and the stuff that means? What's your name? Afton. Afton, what's that stuff that we get that's so incredible? The Salt Lake. And? The Wasatch Mountains. And they combine to give us such incredible? Snow. See? I knew they were good listeners. Dead on the money. Multiple part question from fourth graders. You're right. So University of Utah is excellent in studying the weather because we get such unique snow patterns here because the Great Salt Lake, we can get really cold wind that comes off that Salt Lake. And then it hits the what facing slopes of Alta and Brighton and Snowbird. It hits the? Um, the Great Salt Lake. Well, the wind comes off the Great Salt Lake picks up, but it's a direction I'm looking for. Those slopes are facing... What's your name up here? Bronix. What face, what direction are the slopes facing? North. North. So north, northwest facing, and we get some big snow of which we might just have today. So quickly into the forecast, awesome answers, and everybody for doing that today. Let's do a little forecast for you right now. Still say hi to Jesse there and the parents because we're behind the scenes looking at what's going on. We'll get that forecast, but I can tell you, Right away, we got some rain, we got some snow, but it's mostly rain that I've seen in some cases where I'm looking at the rain right now that's most active over southern Utah, and we're right into the current temperatures where it's been cold. Has it been cold the last few weeks for you? Yeah. It has. It's been unusually cold, but not, I'd say, abnormally cold, but cold enough that we've gotten snow already for those skiers and snowboarders. We've been building that snow into the mountains so far, and it's been a good year so far. So there's the weather features together showing that we've got this big storm off the west coast in California, and that's bringing the snow to us. And right now in the Pinpoint Futurecast forecast, we expect developing later today, rain. So rain, by the time you're headed home, by the time your parents are trying to get around this evening, that is most likely coming in the forecast. And then as we go overnight tonight towards tomorrow, cold air is going to spill in and we're going to cool down. So that rain could change to snow. snow. I knew we were really good listeners. I told them we were expecting the potential for this. And so you know what's in the forecast tomorrow, which is snow. snow. I am expecting that here. And I would not be surprised by the time you're out of school tomorrow or we're getting towards tomorrow evening. There might even be a couple inches of snow that's on the ground. So we look to southern Utah's forecast in the Wasatch Front through the weekend. That snow will come to an end by tomorrow night. And then over the weekend, it's just what? Snow. No, it's just cold. We're talking frigid temps this weekend. We're looking for rain down in southern Utah today, St. George and Cedar City. We're even looking for at least rain to snow even towards around Bryan Head. That's going to be more snow. There's a look at your temperatures today and it's only going to be around 40 to maybe 50 tops. St. George, much different weather for you with rain around 50 today and it could get cold enough this weekend that even in St. George, there's the potential maybe they even see a flake or two. Now they're not going to find any snow that they have to remove, but they might see a flake or two. And for us in the Salt Lake City Wasatch Front, we could even find that we are getting some snow as well. Like I said, a couple inches, but over the weekend, it's going to be all about the cold with top temperatures. What do you think our highs will be? Freezing. That's the 
warmest we'll get. Okay, I know I've taken a ton of time. Josh is probably telling me that I need to go, but we will. We'll come back here in 25 minutes from Diamond Ridge Elementary. We'll talk a little more weather. Will that be okay? And then we'll do another forecast too. We'll send it back to you.